If you're a farmer, by now you've heard of the new soybean trait Roundup Ready 2 yield. Probably the first thing that basically caught your eye was the price of the Roundup Ready 2 yield soybean. So we're going to talk a little about the price, if it's worth it or not, and what really this Roundup 2 bean brings to the table. Hold on now, Brian. I didn't see that price first. I heard the claim of 7 to 11 percent more yield, and that got me fired up because you know, on our farm, we've been trying to push our yields up and corn, yep. we've been real successful increasing our yields in corn and beans, it just hasn't been to the same oh, degree. I don't know. I, I think we've been pretty successful. We, we were getting 35, 40 bushel beans just a few years ago. Now, 55 is very common on our farm. So we've done pretty well. It's just when you go from 130 bushel corn to 200 bushel corn in about seven or eight years, you say, wow, that's a big deal. But you know what? Percentage wise, going from 35 to 55 is an even bigger percentage. I think if you ask most farmers out there, they would say, my corn has been going up dramatically. My <laughs> soybeans agree. have been fairly flat. Yeah, I agree. And, and here comes a new trait that is claiming a yield enhancement. And we really haven't seen that in corn or soybeans yet, where we've had something that just having this trait, we're getting better yield. Now, yeah. is all that yield gain coming from the trait or coming from the seed well, treatments that are with it? That's a good question. Yeah, let's talk about that a little bit. This trait is exactly the same as the Roundup Ready 1 trait. So don't let them tell you that, oh, it's this brand new thing. It's not. It's the exact same thing. It's just a little different placement of that gene in the genome. In this case, what a lot of the researchers are saying is, you know what, there's a lot of talk about having some yield drag with the first Roundup Ready trait. In the first few years of Roundup Ready soybeans, a lot of farmers talked about, boy, I think I had less yield out there, but my weed control was a lot better, and it was a lot more convenient for me. I'm going to use it anyway. Well, with the Roundup to yield trait, we aren't seeing any yield drag. In fact, we're seeing a little better yield than what we're seeing on typical varieties. So well, that's, that's pretty exciting. Yeah, that's hard to say if we're seeing a yield drag or not, because how many people are planting conventional anymore. Almost no one, so we don't really know. But here's the point. If you can gain a little more yield, it's probably going to be worth it for you to plant Roundup Ready 2 beans. And believe me, I don't like spending $50 a bag on seed beans. I would rather spend five. That would be great. But here's the choice. Well, seriously. <laughs> you can't even buy the beans for okay. five. Let's not get greedy here. Okay. But, but here's yeah, the choice. You know, Let's got... say you've got $50 beans, or call it $55 beans versus $35 beans. Let's say there's a $20 price gap, and you say, whoa, $20? I don't want to spend that much more. But uh, hold on. Remember, the Roundup Ready 2 beans, that includes seed treatment. So if you're going to take $10 out, for Acceleron, which is basically about uh, the same thing as Trilux 6000 or Cruiser Max, well, all of a sudden now you're only talking about a $10 price gap. That's much more manageable. If you've got $8 beans, that's 1.25 bushels. Well, this claim of 7 to 11 percent, they're basically telling you you're going to gain three to five bushels. Well, well, even if you gain three bushels and it only costs you a bushel and a quarter for the increase, you're still gaining. You're more than doubling your money. Yeah, but I don't like that whole 7 to 11 percent talk. And I realize it makes for a catchy advertisement. Yep. But I think it does a disservice to this trait because now most farmers are going to hear, oh, 7 to 11 percent better. Okay, well, I had this many bushel soybeans on the rest of my farm where I have Roundup Ready to Yields, I should be you know, roughly 10% better. Well, you may or may not be 10% better. Let's say that you fall a little bit short of that. Let's say you're raising 50 bushel beans and you're 5% better. Well, okay, that's two and a half bushels better. As Brian was saying, it only takes a bushel and a quarter to pay for this new soybean to justify the cost. Well, if you're two and a half better, you basically doubled your money. It's fantastic. It's a great investment. But you're probably going to be disappointed. You say, well, wait a minute, I only got a 5% yield enhancement. That's what I don't like about yeah. this. Let's get it back to return on investment. If you could double your money, you made a great investment, you should do it on every acre. Well, whichever variety you pick, whether it's Roundup 1 beans or Roundup 2, or maybe Liberty or conventional, it's probably not going to make a whole lot of difference when it comes to controlling our Weed of the Week. Or maybe it will. We'll tell you later in the show.